all done with high school, getting ready for college, moving on. Uh, you know, what are the feelings right now as you head to this uh, new challenge, new adventure? Yeah, um, it is kind of a weird feeling. Um, in a, I mean, it's the senior af- or the summer after your senior year, and um, you know everyone wants to kind of make the most of it. And um, it's been a lot of fun. I've you know had a lot of time to hang out with my friends, and, and the training's been going great. And um, you know, I, I leave the 27th of this month, and I think for a while I would say you know I'm leaving at the end of August and it felt so far away but you know it's only a week away now and um, then it's on to kind of the next the next chapter of, of my life so um, yeah I think it'll be fun I'm, I'm excited and um, kind of sad that the summer is coming to a close but I know it's going to be a lot of fun at school cool so you um, heading right into cross country I assume here yeah heading into cross country training we have uh, we do a camp up at altitude for a little while and then uh back down to campus and back to school and then uh hopefully get some races in yeah we're going up to mammoth yeah yeah so it'll be fun up there i mean apparently it's like ten thousand feet so we'll see we'll see how i fare at that, at that a little bit level. higher in elevation than grand blank yeah definitely <laughs> so what are your thoughts moving up uh moving up from uh i mean five thousand meters in cross and now a little bit some longer yeah. races here uh, mentally how are you uh kind of getting prepared for all that yeah um it is a little different, um, you know, knowing that 5K was the distance, and now at championship races, it's going to be double that at, at the 10K level, and um, so it is a little different. Um, I think it'll take a little bit to, to get used to, um, but, you know, my training's going well. I've slowly been building into more mileage, and um, my workouts have been getting a little bit longer, so um, I think gradually I'll, I'll adapt into it. Um, it's not, I'm not expecting it to be something where I'm going to run a 10K and you know finish it and wow that was really short and easy but um i think in time i'll I'll be able to really adapt over and um yeah hopefully compete with the guys right and like like you say i mean adapting to it gradually i mean a lot of people don't realize what a big jump it is from 5k to 10k it it doesn't seem much but um you know i mean it's it's a tough uh you know it's a tough thing to to adjust to uh mentally obviously you're pretty tough mentally so i'm sure you'll find some ways to adapt and get used to those middle middle miles in a, in a longer race, so I'm sure you'll adjust well, but, but you're right, a gradual approach to it uh, seems to have worked well for you in the past, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, kind of ease into it. My first race will be an 8K, so it'll be uh, a good kind of ease into it, and um, I think it'll be fun, you know, new distance, new challenge, and definitely faster guys to race again so it'll be fun looking back um high school now to uh like freshman year to senior year obviously i mean you were kind of a late late getting into the running thing uh, from the soccer background yeah um but obviously i'm I'm guessing when you're a freshman in high school you i'm guessing you never envisioned what (laughs) you know where you would be today yeah, I mean, yeah, freshman year, even sophomore year, I was kind of, you know, my, my dreams and goals were all, like, I want to play college college soccer. And um, it wasn't until kind of the end of sophomore year and junior year where that kind of vision switched to, I still want to do a sport in college, but I'd like it to be running. And, um, yeah, I, I never would have expected, you know, things to turn out this way, but, um, you know, I guess... I didn't quite accomplish my freshman goal of playing soccer in college, but I mean, I I guess I was pretty close to to getting it with with the running scene, so um, yeah, it's been fun. You know, that, as you said, was another gradual kind of shift, um, kind of away from soccer and towards running, and um, you know, it was kind of something that wasn't forced, which I really liked, and um, yeah, it it went great. It was gradual. It was what I wanted, and um, you know, I couldn't be happier now. I mean, it, it is obvious. I mean, to me, soccer, like we were talking, I had the same, kind of the same background, soccer into running as well, but a lot of people don't realize what a great uh, kind of base yeah. it kind of builds for, for future running as a sport for, for young kids. So, so obviously you didn't envision this, but uh, and you, I'm guessing you never in your life envisioned as a, you know, as a ninth grade soccer player running a four minute mile. Um, take us back to that race and kind of lap by lap and... You know, obviously it went how you how you wanted, uh, you know, splits wise and things like that. But tell me your feelings during that race and obviously at the end. Yeah, um, the race was interesting. It was a night race. Um, it was really late, uh, for later than any other race I'd ever done. Um, you know, we were under the lights and before the race they were introducing everybody and we would 
you know, we were down by maybe the um, the start of the, the home stretch, and then they would announce her name, and we would run up to the starting line, and um, I was fine up until that, um, but then they started announcing names, and they called everybody, then I was like the second to last one to get announced, I was pretty nervous by that point, and um, the race went out great, um, the splits were almost exactly what we wanted, um, it was pretty even split over the first uh, the first half. Um, the pace was we were hoping the pace would be a little bit faster at the start, but um, things picked up over the second half of the race, and um, I, I tried to move up on the third lap and managed to get in a good position. And um, I got behind Jordan McNamara with maybe a lap to go, and uh, you know I was still feeling good, and I. I felt like I could pass him, so I passed him, and I was like, "Oh man, like I'm going to beat Jordan." And um, obviously, it didn't end up happening. But um, I thought I, I was amazed that I could pick off, you know, such an elite runner. And then there were more people ahead of me, and I thought, you know, maybe I could get this guy, and then the next guy. And I managed to pick more people off, and I think I was in second with 150 to go. And um, you know, that last lap, I wasn't really worried about pace. I was just trying to move up as much as I could and um, turned the corner and saw the finish line and just went for it and Jordan went flying by me <laughs> but um, yeah I managed to hold on for third and um, looked across and there was a there was a, a clock right at the line and I when I crossed I didn't think it had said four yet so I was pretty pretty happy. So, I mean, just standing around afterwards uh, you know reflecting on that I'm sure you had some time in your head but <laughs> I mean, what, you know, what kind of thoughts, uh, realizing that, you know, all that hard work and, and where it got you? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, after the race, you know, everyone, the crowd was uh, on the track. The crowd was up in, uh, I think, lane 6, 7, and 8. The crowd was on the track, so mm -hmm. um, it was really intimate. And when things got announced, everyone was going crazy. And um, I was pretty excited. I ran over to my coach, gave him a hug, and... <laughs> You know, they gave me this flag, and Jordan and I were running up and down with these flags, and um, it was pretty special. It was like, you know, kind of, uh, I mean, that's that's kind of the ultimate middle distance runner, you know, milestone. Um, so to, to get that in, in in the manner that I did uh, was, was pretty special to me. So, um, yeah, looking back, that was an awesome moment. Yeah. Well, you've had quite a few awesome moments the last uh, <laughs> the last couple of years as you kind of you know kind of burst onto uh, kind of the national level and uh, and e even with all the big the big mile races the big national events still a little nervous at that uh, at that mile when you ran uh, <laughs> under four. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that that's probably something I won't forget. Um, yeah, definitely. So it you, was it was awesome. You definitely had a different path coming. You know, getting to where you are now. And looking back now, or what? You know, for for younger runners, uh, now that you're an old, <laughs> you know, you're an old guy at 18. But um, you know, for younger runners, uh, high school runners, you know, freshman, sophomore, kind of, what, what advice would you give them as far as how to progress and able to get to the, what they want, and, and even racing as far as you know, in that kind of any you know any one little tip, yeah. either mentally or physically. Um, you know, I wouldn't say the way I did it was was the best way for for everybody, but. Um, I think it worked for me and um, kind of the gradual transition into the sport worked for me and um, gradually increasing, increasing mileage and workouts and um, you know there was never a time where I felt like I was overwhelmed with training. Um, I always felt like I was within myself which was a good thing and I think because of that it kept me from getting injured uh, very often and I think one of the most important parts to, to running is being consistent and an injury would kind of completely throw that out the window so um, I've noticed that you know the guys that can string together the most days in a row are normally the best guys at the end of the season and um, you know there's no rush to running 100 mile weeks or doing crazy workouts um, there's always time for that in, in and the not future. necessarily yeah. all hard days in a row yeah but yeah I mean just the consistency of yeah I've you know, as workouts got more difficult, I noticed that the recovery days were more and more crucial. Um, I guess early on, I kind of thought they were just throwaway days where, you know, you just people just don't do workouts back to back days, so you just have this throwaway easy run in between. But I realized that you know, unless you take the easy runs, 
you know, easy and correctly, then um, your workouts aren't going to, uh, like, matriculate the way you want them to be, and, you know, you're going to fall apart, so, cool. yeah. Well, you, we can, you can tell you're 18, you're using big words like matriculate now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got to get ready for college, been reading the dictionary. You want to fit in. Yeah. So. Now, look, looking ahead, and lastly, uh, look, looking ahead now to college, um, like I said, you never envisioned in the ninth grade being able to do what you did now, and, you know, now you're going to be a freshman again in, in college and a little bit different a little bit different mindset uh, so where, where do you see yourself in four years I mean are there any any kind of uh, 1500 times or mile times or even 10,000 meter times in cross that you've, yeah. you've kind of uh, dabbled around with in your head yeah um, yeah as far as the 10k and 8k times go I don't like, I, I need to look at a chart or something because I don't really know what paces go with the times because I'm just not used to that well cross but, obviously different yeah. than, than track I mean, yeah you know, once you get into track, if you're doing something crazy, like those long distances and times matter a little bit more. Yeah, so, you know, I, I really like the mile and 15 distance right now, and um, I know it's a trend for most people to move up in distance in college. Um, but, you know, I'd like to try my hand at the 15 and see how that goes. And, you know, if I end up moving to be more of a 5K, 10K guy, then, you know, that's fine with me. And, um, yeah, I'd like to try out the 15, see how it goes, and hopefully at some point um, while I'm at college kind of be up there and, and compete for a national title, whether it's an individual or team. And, um, you know, I'm going to be surrounded with top-notch guys just on my team, so definitely. there's going to be a lot of a lot of fast guys to run with. Yeah, that's definitely what makes you uh, what makes you better, getting out there and uh, yeah. kind of being the, uh, being the third or fourth guy for a while. For sure. And, and being able to chase after some people. So, well, obviously it's been great uh, following you in, uh, in high school. School, uh, for uh, Michigan to be able to follow you, and uh, we'll keep after you and keep uh, uh, keep following you once you get out to Stanford. So um, enjoy the rest of the, the last few days of summer here, and uh, best of luck with your training. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, good luck this fall. Thanks. All right.